What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I know you guys probably think I'm crazy. I'm uploading like my third video in the span of a week and it's not F1 diecast really. It's not F1 related at all. So it's probably gonna bomb, but I'm the only one that loses if I were to not make a video about something I really wanted to talk about. So that is why I am here today to talk about the news that just dropped today or yesterday, depending on when I upload this video. So today on Twitter, Ryan Sieg announced that for 2021, his team will switch from Chevrolet to Ford. And just to clarify this, I don't know. Right now, this is only related to the 39. They haven't said anything about the second car, the 93. They said last year, I believe, that the 93 would run if it had sponsorship. So the 93 may not even be a full-time car this year, uh, but we don't know anything about it. I would guess that if the 39's a Ford, the 93 is going to be a Ford, but they haven't said anything about that. So just for clarification, this video is solely talking about the 39 and Ryan Sieg. Now this announcement, I don't know about you guys, but this announcement was kind of out of left field for me. I did not hear a single rumor about this happening. I, there was nothing. There was nothing uh, hinting that this might happen. And if you remember all the way back to 2009, when RSS Racing made its debut in the truck series, that was a Chevrolet. So they have been sh with Chevy for a long time. So I don't think anyone could have predicted that a manufacturer change would happen, uh, especially this year, uh, this close to the season. We're only a month out from the start. And when I initially heard this news, I wasn't concerned, but I was a little bit hesitant. I didn't know if this was the right move. Now, obviously, I'm just a random guy. I don't work for the team, but uh, I didn't. I didn't know about this one because they had done so much with Chevy. Like I said, they were with them for 10 years. I don't know how much manufacturer support they got from Chevy but uh they did get ECR engines after or in 2019 and 2020 so that was a really good deal they had just done so much with Chevy but uh after I thought about it for just a little while it wasn't even long that I had to think about this I realized that this is a really good move that the team has made I think and uh, I think it's going to lead to a lot of success because if you think about it in 2020 Ford absolutely destroyed everybody. I mean, Chase Briscoe won nine races. Austin Sindrick won six races and the championship. Ford obviously have the best package. There's no doubt about that in my mind. They have the best stuff. They have the best engine. I mean, the Ford teams really figured out the Xfinity series last year. So I think it's, it's a good move, I think. Now, right now, it isn't clear how deep this partnership goes. Uh, it's not clear if Ford is going to be giving them any parts or if they're getting any parts from the other two Ford teams. Uh, it's not clear if they're getting any new chassis. What we do know is that they will be getting the Roush Yates engines, which I believe are the same engines uh, that both of the other Ford teams use. I don't think Team Penske builds their own engines. I think Stuart Haas and Team Penske both use the same Roush Yates engine. So, uh, I mean, that that really, I think that's all that they need, really. I think the difference is in that engine. I mean, obviously, you want new parts, you want new chassis, but that's the best engine, as I just said a little bit ago. And if you think about, if you think back to last season, let's just think about Las Vegas in the spring where Ryan Sieg finished third. The only two cars that beat him were Chase Briscoe, who won the race, and Austin Sindrick, who finished second. So if you put that same Ford engine in Ryan Sieg, I mean, I thought he could have won that race in the Chevy, but uh, I, I think I think this is huge. I think Ryan Sieg, I think that first, I already thought the first win was going to come in 2021, but I think this is huge, especially, on, I mean, they're good on plate tracks and they've got the best engine. I mean, it's all, I think it's all going to come together next year. I really do. Another good, uh, Another good thing that comes of this is that there's going to be less manufacturer competition. I mean, you think about Chevrolet, they've got, what, four Dale Jr. They got four Junior Motorsports full-time cars. They've got the three colleague cars. They've got the one right now full-time RCR car. We don't know if the 21 is going to come back for next year. But I mean, there are, that's eight 
that's eight Chevys that are getting the same engines essentially because I think ECR and the other one are combining. Um, but that's eight cars already that have the same engines. They have the same Chevy support. I mean, I don't think Ryan C really got support from Chevy, uh, but they got the ECR engines, which they've got eight other teams that they've got to build engines for. So with Ford, you only have two other teams. There's just going to be more time put into what the 39 has with Ford than the time that was put into the 39 uh, engine wise from the ECR engine. So I think just with more time, it's going to be more reliable. It's going to be better stuff. And you've got less people to compete with in the eyes of the manufacturer. I think that's a positive as well. Uh, another thing I think is really important is that for, I, I think the timing on this is absolutely perfect. Uh, doing it in 2021, because I think the Xfinity series is about to blow up. Uh, I think in 2022, with all the cup teams needing to sell their chassis, uh, they don't need to, but they will sell their chassis after this year because they've got the next gen car. Uh, so they can't use the old COT chassis anymore. So they're going to sell them all off probably. So a lot of Xfinity teams, I think a lot of Xfinity teams for 2022 are going to either be created or they're going to expand. Uh, so I think the competition is going to be fierce in 2022 i mean it already is for 2021 we already have colic expanded to three full time uh, i mean it's already there's a lot of teams that are going full time uh in 2021 so the competition is already fierce this season but starting this ford relationship before 2022 i think is absolutely critical and i think it's a perfect time to do it and uh so right now, I don't really see many of the flaw. I, I don't really see any flaws with this plan, but obviously uh, it's the race hasn't happened yet. We haven't seen anything from it. We don't know how deep the partnership is. So we'll wait and see come Daytona, but I think it's a good idea. And I think good things are going to come for Ryan Sieg and 39 team in 2021. So uh, what are your guys thoughts on this? If anyone's watching this video, uh, uh, I think it's going to be good. So I will see you guys in the next video. No idea when that's coming out because I already made three this week.